What is up everybody? This is Lyle No Hippie Trucking and Transportation coming at you from just outside the Millennium Building. A little bit stressed out. That's kind of why I haven't really been doing any videos. We'll get into that in a second. But, you know, one of the good things about coming back into the terminal is seeing all the new people coming in. And it kind of re-energizes me looking at uh, people starting out their journey, how motivated they are and stuff like that. Saw a whole bunch of people uh, that are just now coming to Prime. So almost gives me a reason to recommit myself. I guess you could say not that I wasn't committed but hopefully you understand what I mean but uh, been here I don't know two and a half days I'm a little stressed out about the amount of time that I'm gonna be sitting here now I didn't expect my truck to come in as early as it did and I still haven't seen this new truck yet I've drove around a little bit still haven't seen it but I drop into uh, success leasing a couple days ago to give them my check because I want that check to hit before the first of the year so I can write that off on this year's taxes and they were almost want me to sign that bad boy right then they're like we got time I was like you know I'm you know I got some stuff to do I won't be able to get to that so I told them I'd come in and sign it on the fourth so at that point I will be here almost six days by the time I sign it and then the girl gonna be driving my truck she's not coming in until like the sixth or the eighth you know so I'm just thinking about all this money I'm you know not making and spending so so far I've been here I got my APU serviced uh, just did some other knick-knack stuff that I needed to get done at two o'clock today I'm about to run and go get four new drive tires so boom that's some money right there. Not that it needs it, but I prefer anybody that's driving for me have, you know, the most traction possible. You know what I'm saying? So boom, that's gonna be some money. Uh, when I was making the appointment to get new airlines put on my truck, uh, they did a, an inspection on it. And there's a bracket that uh, that kind of worked its way loose that supposedly got fixed when I got my annual inspection about uh, I don't know four months ago five months ago in Pittston so got to get that done so who knows how much money that's gonna cost so I'm supposed to be getting that done on the fifth and then once all that's done I'm gonna try to get the truck to Peterbilt to get the ladder fixed in this truck because old girl's thinking about teaming and it's kind of a hassle. I mean, if I get it done, I get it done. I'd prefer to get it done, but otherwise it's just gonna have to get taped up and you know, all that kind of stuff. But I'm just running out of time, you know what I'm saying? So, or I'm not sure how long it's gonna take. I heard it's not an easy fix. I heard they need to replace the whole ladder and I heard that's $1,500. So, uh, you know just kind of stressed out isn't the right word I guess you could say I'm a little uneasy uh, about it right now so that's kind of how I feel so I've just been trying to sit here and relax as much as possible did want to do a video on that fueling and stuff and again not because I'm the best fueler but I think that there's some principles if you were to apply that that uh you know might help I don't know but uh, anyway that is about it just been running into all kinds of people up here if you guys want to talk about coming to the fleet or coming to the lease side you know my boy a big H transportation type that in if you haven't been to his channel yet just go ahead and type in big H transportation prime it'll bring you up to his channel he's definitely a runner and he's been having he's been going through it on his truck so if you want to see what could happen check out his channel and you can see how easy it is to uh to basically fail at least and if you're not uh 
you know, if you're not coming in with a, a little bit of a bankroll, you know, uh, not saying that it's gonna happen, but it could happen. And, you know, he's older, like me, he, he's even a little bit older than me. So, you know, he's, he's all about that saving money. So, uh, it hasn't hurt him yet, but he's definitely spending more money on downtime and repairs than he'd like to. So, uh, check that out. Uh, but other than that, that's it. So what's today? It's the 31st. Hopefully, yeah, actually, you know, the good thing about it, getting these tires done today is those tires go on this year's taxes as well. So I'd mentioned a while back that I was possibly going to order a third truck. So that down payment would hit this year's taxes because I had some money come in that was not going to be taxed. So all these repairs I'm doing at the end of the year might end up doing kind of the same thing that I was looking to do anyway. So looking forward to uh, unveiling my driver here. Very excited about that. Hopefully her fleet manager doesn't slow walk her in here. You know, hopefully he can get her in soon. It would almost make more sense had I known about this. It might have almost made more sense for me just to call her in, pay her out the company bonus myself, and then just, uh, you know, have her not worry about Prime doing the bonus, me pay her out, and then just have everything switched over and boom, out and running. So, but we're a day late and a dollar short for that one. But I just wanted to wish everybody a happy new year and all that stuff. My wife watching, Happy New Year to you as well. Both my aunts, Happy New Year if you guys are watching. And for all you guys that are uh, messing around out there in Idaho, Wyoming, all that, you guys are my heroes. Happy New Year to you guys as well. Anyway, I'm about to end this. Like to thank you guys for stopping by No Hippie Trucking and Transportation. I appreciate it. Comment, subscribe, and I'm out.